And now for today's Bible question. Today we've been learning about Jesus the Master. We saw how he was master over the Sabbath, over his apostles, and over physical health. We also learned from our Master the important principles of his kingdom. Someone might ask the question, how is it possible to love my enemies? Certainly, loving your enemies would not be the natural thing to do. It takes a supernatural work in the heart of God's children to teach them and lead them by the Holy Spirit to act in the same manner that God acts towards us. After all, we were all enemies of God because of our sin. But that did not stop God from sending his beloved Son into the world to pay the penalty for man's sin. God has been kind to us when we were his enemies, and he made us his friends by saving our souls and calling us to be his children. What a wonderful God we have, and how wonderful he has treated us. We were so undeserving of his grace and this should make us very humble and thankful to be his children and to possess eternal life. Because God has treated us, his enemies, with love, compassion, and grace, and we are so glad that he has done so, that it only seems right that we should offer the same attitude toward others who mistreat us. When someone does us wrong, there is a part of us, our flesh, that wants to retaliate. We want justice, and we want our enemies to pay for their wrong deeds. But the new nature born of God does not respond this way. The new nature wants to please God and imitate God, which means to show love, mercy, patience, even with those who do wrong to us. This can only take place when a person has been born again by the Holy Spirit of God. When someone takes Jesus as their Savior, the Holy Spirit comes to dwell within them, and they are regenerated. They are given a new heart and a new mind, a heart that loves God and a mind that seeks after God and His righteousness. It is because of the Christian's new nature that he is able to love his enemies. Of course, not all Christians behave this way because they follow their carnal or fleshly desires rather than obey the Holy Spirit's directing. The Bible teaches us about the new nature within the child of God. In 1 Corinthians 5:17, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. The Apostle John also wrote these words, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. In this world we are going to run into many challenges, and many will want to cheat us or harm us. We do not like to face these challenges, but in one way they are good for the Christian, because then he can show the world his divine nature. He can show that his heart has been changed, and he is ready to forgive, ready to do good, ready to bless those who seek his harm. If you are a Christian, can you honestly say from your heart that you love your enemies? Think for a moment about whether you have ever demonstrated the kindness and love of God that Jesus taught to his disciples. If you cannot see evidence in your life of the heart and mind of Christ, and if you know nothing about loving your enemies, then you should ask yourself if you have truly been born of God. God's children learn to think and act as God thinks and acts, and if that is not you, then be honest with yourself. The last thing any one of us wants to do is think we are a Christian and on our way to heaven, when in fact we have never experienced the renewing of the Holy Spirit, having been born again. Perhaps today is the day the Lord will speak into your heart and heart and help you to see your need to be changed, to be forgiven, to be born from above. Take Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Tell him how wretched your heart is and how you long to be forgiven and given a new heart that is like his heart. When you call upon the Lord in faith, he will hear you, and if you are sincere, he will most certainly answer your cries 
and save your soul. If you have experienced the new birth, then be sure to allow the Spirit of God to direct your steps and live a life that radiates the love and goodness of our Lord Jesus to a world sick with sin. May the Lord teach us all from his wisdom to build our lives upon the firm foundation of faith in Christ and obedience to his words. Having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible, through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 23